seventh one in triangle ABC bisectors of angle A and angle B intersect at point O if angle C is equal to 70 degrees find the measure of angle AOB if you see here carefully the angles are given to us and the figure is not given to us first let's draw a figure so that we can understand the concept Okay, what is the name of the triangle ABC? A B C. Okay, now in this triangle, what they have said angle A and angle B intersect at point O. Okay. They intersect at point O. If you see very carefully, look at the figure, how they are intersected. Okay. Now let's start with our solution. In triangle ABC, bisectors of angle A and B intersect at point O. Now one more thing is given to us is angle C is equal to 70 degrees we have to find angle AOB this angle so I always tell you what is given to us from that we will start solution in triangle ABC let now we are going to let let angle A is equal to 2x degree Angle Y, B is equal to 2Y degree and angle C, what is given as before. Let angle A is equal to 2X degree, angle B is equal to 2Y degree and angle C is given to us. Angle C is equal to 70 degrees. We got this from given. Okay. Now we know angle A plus angle B plus angle C is equal to 180 degrees sum of the measures of the angles of a triangle let's write angle A plus angle B plus angle C is equal to 180 degrees and the reason we very well know it sum of the measures sum of the measures of angles of a triangle of angles of a triangle we know that it is 180 degrees now let's see therefore what did we assume we let angle A as 2x degree so we have 2x plus 2y plus 70 degree is equal to 180 degrees therefore 2x plus 2y is equal to 180 minus 70 therefore 2x plus 2y is equal to 180 minus 70 gives me 110 now if you see i've got two here i've got two here so if i say dividing throughout by two dividing throughout by 2 so what I will get after dividing it by 2 x plus y is equal to carefully see 2 5s are 10 2 5 I will be getting 55 let this be equation number 1 now look at look carefully at angle OAB look at angle OAB now angle O a B is half this angle this angle is half of this total angle A of this total angle so let's write angle O A B 
is equal to OAB is equal to half of angle A which is equal to which is equal to half what we have got as angle A look carefully what do we get as angle A 2x what we got 2x into 2x 2 2 goes away so what do we get we get x degrees angle now OAB is over now look at angle OBA angle OBA now that is also half of half of which angle angle B which is equal to half into if it is 2x what this will be 2y cancel which is equal to y degrees there will be some reason for this what was the reason given to us they have told us that OA and OB are bisectors so we have to write the reason for this the reason will be ray OA ray OA and and which ray ray OA and ray OB are bisectors of angle are bisectors of angle A and angle B right they are bisectors of angle A and angle B now let us consider a triangle this triangle after considering this triangle then we may get a value let us consider that triangle and see what happens with that triangle okay in triangle what is the name of the triangle in triangle AOB in triangle AOB angle sum again we are going to take the sum of the measures of the triangle over here sum of the measures of the triangle so angle OAB OAB plus angle OBA plus which is the third angle angle AOB angle AOB is equal to 180 degrees now as we know the reason for it sum of the measures of angles of a triangle sum of the measures of angles of a triangle so we got the triangle and sum of the measures of the triangle now a and b we have got a and b look carefully we have x plus y plus angle a o b is equal to 180 degrees let's take this together why because here if you see you have got it as 55 therefore this is 55 plus angle a o b is equal to 180 degrees this we got from equation 1 if I am not this we got from equation 1 therefore angle a o b now 55 is this side I am going to take 55 that side 180 minus 55 degrees therefore angle a o b 180 minus 55 gives me 125 degrees now we got the value of angle AOB as 125 degrees